Can you guys hear me? Yeah. How you guys doing this evening? Great. Well, we don't have a red blow horn at home, but we do have an extra blue one if anybody uh, wants to borrow it for tonight. Um, this is really amazing. Oh, no, we we got love, honey. Here, um, this is love, baby. Um, I just want to thank each and every last one of you for all your support, for all the love, for everything that you guys do as far as the Occupy movement is concerned. Um, when, um, when the Occupy movement first started, Christopher was not a part of that. And it was really the mark of something really extraordinary and really big, even before Christopher was your comrade. And that is what I truly do believe. And since Christopher has been in the Occupy, it seems like more people have come together. I would have never thought that so many different people, young people, old people, girls that's from the hood, you know what I mean? I would not have really, seriously, I would have not, you know, not to be disrespectful to anyone, but I would have never imagined anything as beautiful as this. And um, for everyone who came to court today, I want to tell you thank you if you really paid attention to the look on Christopher's face. Yeah. When he turned around and seen all of y'all there in support of him. Did you take a look at the judge's face when he looked and seen everybody too? Man, I did. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, but once again, I just want to tell all of you thank you very much. And um, keep, up the, uh, keep up the good work. Um, the, world is, the world is watching very, very closely. And um, whatever you guys do, just make sure that it's worth it. Everything, all the yelling, getting up in people's faces, being on the blow horns, helping out the homeless, feeding the homeless, staying away from your own families. Just make sure that everything that you do from here on out from this point, make sure that it is worth it. That is the only way that it is justifiable is when it is worth it. Thank you. Thank you.